Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the new and improved G4 with boosters. Uh, booster pack, I think it's just called. It's a couple of uh, propellant tanks and some shoulder stuff. And there's probably other differences I have not yet noticed, but uh, it is pretty good. Uh, it's I'm using the hyper beam rifle, but the big weapon difference that I am going to have to give a try sometime soon is it can use the G3's double hyper bazookas. And I would like to give that a try, because on a general with uh, ranged with uh, you know ranged mod oriented stats, I think that could, those could be really really formidable. So we're going to find out. Uh, hyper, uh, the hyper beam rifle is exactly the same one as used on the standard G4 and 5, and it is uh, that's the same thing I was using on the G5 booster yesterday, and it is still quite good. Heavy damage, overheats easily, but here is the big change besides the you know minor tweaks and things, and the air boost. The mega beam launcher is now a Zoc type weapon. It is movable one, while firing. It does continuous damage, and it also recharges significantly quicker. And I missed that entirely, managed to fire directly between two people, and not get away before that gun cannon detector decided to return fire. And so that that first one was a wash, but I get some pretty good shots off later. I do I do like using the weapon. It's just use uh, just like the high mega cannon and just like the Zoc, it requires a lot of uh, prep to do, do well. So that is to keep in mind. I use the armed beam guns there. I got a couple. I got a couple of tags in with the hyper beam rifle, and now I'll just try and get a kill if I can. But I can wait. We're, we've got a four to one lead at the moment. We will not for the entire round. I think I stunned my teammate, so that's why I'm kind of rushing in now because there's no point to uh, not trying to help them. See, our Jarja. Yep, that's a G5 that I'm, I'm with, and yeah, I think I did hit it. Unfortunately, it's got no health and, yeah, I was about to say, it's uh, fighting two to one, so it's time for me to get out of here. I didn't mean to drop off the bridge, but it was actually a good move, because it puts me, at a, puts me at a better position. And there is a couple of people to shoot at. Just a couple of tags. Um, they're lined up pretty well, so if I can, if I can get far enough back to successfully charge the, uh, the Mega Beam Rifle... I, or Mega Beam Launcher, I think it is, I can do some good damage. It's just being able to do that without, without being interrupted, just like with all of those weapons, sometimes a trick. They are taking shots at me, and I'm just going to run back, because otherwise they are going to swarm me and kill me. There's three of us on the screen, and one of the weak ones uh, came back to go after the GO5 with a friend of its. So that struck me as a good opportunity for me to move in. Because, yeah, I could kill the one, and then it's two on one against this person. Except that we're the only two left alive, so that's about to become like three or four on two. Not ideal. Took that shot, landed it. Not going to get the follow-up, not from this direction. Went the, uh, over there, and there's somebody else after me. And after both of us. I saw somebody out of the corner of my, my eye and swung. Luckily, I missed by a mile, because that was my teammate. I am running out of boost here. Downswing did not take. Missed a bunch of things, but now I am dead. Which, you know, happens. But yeah, I was... Uh, it is pretty good. And yeah, it does have forced injectors now. Uh, it also has... I forget. I think it has single dodge roll. I don't think it was upgraded double. And again, it has the air maneuvering ability that the uh, Mark II and the GPO-2 beam bazooka have. So it's... It's got some uh, good abilities and ones I like to use. That air maneuvering really can come in handy, especially on levels like this where there's an upper, upper level you'll be uh, dropping off of sometimes. Very, very handy. And there is a shot I'm going to take. Got one kill. Did not get the second. Somebody else did. That is fine. But I'm going to fire the Mega Beam Launcher because there's somebody right around that corner. Nobody else seems to be after me. Double checking that in my scope. Uh, yep. Now that's a skill I wish they'd given it, and there's the Arjarja, perfect target for me. 6300 damage. And that's a skill I wish they'd given it this. I wish they'd given it the see your radar while scoped in mode. That would have been that would have been a game changer for this, but it's still pretty it's still quite good in fact. So yeah, there's the Jarja. I don't want to approach too quick because my rifle was ready to overheat. 
and I probably wouldn't have had time to charge before I uh, got to it. I will now have time to charge, which is good, because they are trying to surround a teammate over there. And they've moved around this direction, so... Landed. Big beam gun ready. I'm probably going to pull back and find a good place to fire it, because... What's the point of having a toy like that if you don't get to use it, you know? Got the Jarja, though. And... Yeah, again, just got to find a good opportunity to use it, because I, I do love this thing. It is fun. And I'm just going to wait here, because there will be enemies coming around here shortly. Yeah, just scoping in and out obsessively to make sure I'm not getting jumped. I'm not. Um, yeah, check your surroundings when you're a sniper trying to line up a shot. It is handy. Just waiting for things to, like, stop right in front of me, which they have done. Two of them in a row. Combined, like... 8,000 damage or thereabouts, maybe a little over. So yeah, it's it does have piercing more or less, it just hits everything in straight line, and you can do amazing things. Detector managed to hit me, which stopped me from helping my teammate with this thing, but I got it anyway. Smacked at least one of my allies trying to do it. Somebody up on the bridge trying to kill me, somebody up there has really low health if I can get a, get a shot off. Can I get the shot off? Yes, in the air. I love air kills. It's one of the most satisfying things. And we've got 90 seconds left and a very, very slim lead. I'm trying to line that shot up, not making it. I actually would have been better off to have the G5 just for that specific instance, because it would have been easier to track them and land the shots with the, uh, with the Gatling. But here we go. We've got the assist on that. That's fine. Now, just waiting for a good opportunity to fire the big gun, probably. Which is going to go down this ha uh, hallway. This, I think I make a, a little bit of a mistake here, if I remember, because... I can get flanked very, very easily, if I'm not careful. Also, everybody has moved out of this corridor, which means... Ah, wait, there's somebody, and beams for you! Not a ton of damage, only 1,800, but I managed to do it from a great distance and managed to uh, stun them a little bit. It does not cause heavy stagger the way the Zok does, so it does not really keep things in place for its uh, for its weapon, which is a problem. Um, I am about to make a major mistake, because as you can see, I'm a little bit isolated. And I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to uh, try and get in the fight and hit who I can and do what I can. I knocked two down, and I wanted to get back up there and do more, but ah, that person just landed behind me, so I need to deal with them. Knocked them down, and now I got myself surrounded. They were, they acted, they did that little, they even did that little waggle. They acted as bait because they knew they could hold me in place if I went after that one person who I had type advantage against to, uh, to uh, stop me and finish me off. Kind of brilliant when you get down to it. And I fell for it, hook, line, and sinker, and it cost us the match. So, that's why I sent the sorry tell at least once, because, yeah, I just, I screwed up. That's that's the whole, uh, the whole of it. But otherwise, I'd say it was a pretty good round. I landed some good launcher shots. I, I did pretty well. Not as well as the old-style uh, G4 did, which... Uh, Actually, no, it's, it's our it's our Gallus J that just ran away with it. 152,000 damage. Very, very nice. And, but I did not do badly. I think it's like five kills. Let's see. I'll go to the next screen eventually so we can see, and I can stop blathering until I get there. Yeah. Five kills, two deaths, 73,000 damage. About half a Gallus J's worth of work, apparently. But that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But no, besides the fact that was a decent round for me otherwise, I just kind of wanted to show that because just it, it worked so beautifully that I really felt like it needed to be shown off. And also just it was... Uh, it's nice to know exactly whose fault something is, and it just, it's gonna uh, sound dumb, but I actually feel better about some of this stuff when it's my fault, because at least I know what I did wrong, and the person who did something wrong gets communicated with, which, with the, the way this game is set up, you can't often do which uh, with other players, which, honestly, sometimes it's for the best. You, you don't need to be getting into that, but... Yeah, I, like I said, I screwed up, I know what I did, but it also just brilliant move, whoever that was.